guys, this is Cheeky Scabbin here, and welcome back to Undertale. In the last... <laughs> Anyways, in the last part, we bought the exclusive content that's on the Nintendo Switch, which was Mad Mew Mew. Uh, fortunately, we had to kill Mad Mew Mew. In this part, we left off of about to go and see Asgore. But, you know, we did the Switch exclusive and all that. So, anyways, we're gonna head into this elevator. So, yeah. Anyways, continue on forward. And I went back to using my Joy-Con because my Joy-Cons, you know, they start, you know, fixing itself back up. Well, mainly because it keeps tilting up, so I keep tilting down continuously in my left Joy-Con, so it did actually help. So I think I'll be fine. I mean, it might, maybe once in a while it will, you know, move up on its own. But other than that, I'm just going to keep on jabbing down so that way it won't have to um, keep moving up so much. And also I'm using a D-pad so I, have to, I won't have to use the up stick as much. But anyways, the border has changed and it's all grayscale. We are now in the castle elevator. Well, I don't think we're in the elevator, but we're kind of past that point. The elevator is in use. Alright, so <laughs> apparently the elevator is in use, and this scene... Oh, hiccup, this scene is rather strange. It's still quiet, too. Too quiet, because it's actually raining outside in thunderstorm, so... You might hear a rumble of thunder in the background, and I do apologize, but yeah. You know, let's keep on going. This scene is rather strange. And then we hear a song playing. This is New Home. Alright, let's keep looking around. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. Oh, I don't think that was Flowey, but it just when he says howdy, it kind of just reminded me of Flowey. Anyways, um, before I do... Okay, never mind, I do have that. Well, I do have to get rid of something because we're going to get a few stuff that's in this area. Let me get rid of these two real quick. Also, this song is very pretty, I must say. Does this look familiar, guys? This looks like, you know, the old home. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. The coals are still warm. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. Alright, so it's a little bit different to, well, Toriel's house. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Alright. The bridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Alright. There's a trash can. Bullet crampled up recipes for butterscotch pie. There was some white first stuck in the drain. So no, howdy, help yourself to anything you want. I probably will if there was food. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. Um, there is a key here. That's one of them. And yeah, if those monsters didn't attack us. They actually are explaining well what happened a long time ago. Azrael. The king's son heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Hmm. Azrael, the king's son. Well, let's check in here. And this is actually the room. Dusty toys. And there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Um, guess we will take it. Um, I do want to look at the heart locket, though. Heart Locket, Armor Defense 15. It says, Best Friends Forever. Alright, let's equip that real quick. And actually, let's use this just to kind of store this in here. And we also have a Worn Dagger. We will take that as well. This Worn Dagger, what does it say? Attack 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. Or, you know, slaying your enemies, or monsters, rather. We're gonna equip that as well. Um, how do I go to dimensional? No, that. I want to 
<laughs> I want to go to dimensional box B so I can put this here. And then we'll go to dimensional box A so I can get my other stuff back. There we go. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might never get up. Ugh, get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Hmm. Can we go in this room? Nope, still under renovation. And we get more monsters. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Hmm. And we got another key here. And this room seems a little bit different to, you know, Toriel's room. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Alright, so it's been recent. This bed is really huge. It's a king size bed. I mean, since he is a king. The so trophy number one knows another chance 98. It's a clothes drawer. A rose button up shirt and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Daddy Guy. Aww. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Oh, he must have dressed as Santa Claus. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Aww. Despite everything, it's still you. Yeah, it's still me despite everything that happened. Anyways. Let's actually go into the basement since we got two keys. Alright, so we unlock the chains and we shall keep going down. And the song changes. <laughs> then, one day, the human became very ill. <laughs> the sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. <coughs> the next day, the next day, the human died. <coughs> Azrael, wrapped with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. <coughs> Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had a power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. <coughs> Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. 
King Alfred will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Indeed we will. They were telling us a story about Azrael, the king's son, and the fate of the human and Azrael. Hmm. And his dust spread across the garden. Makes you wonder who Azrael was. I mean, obviously the son of the king and queen. But, hmm. Anyways, we have the last corridor. Let's step into the last corridor and see what happens. As thunder rumbles. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't want to laugh, but this is serious. Anyways, as we come across the last corridor, we see a silhouette of guess who as the bells chime. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you have earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love 2 is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it is to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring your yourself to hurt others. Now, you understand, it's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And, considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Well, I did some bad things, I will admit that. But, I also spared some monsters as well. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. I am honest with myself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Well, you heard from Sans. It's up to me of the fate of humans and monsters. We'll see for ourselves what the fate of both, I guess, both races. I guess monsters and humans. As we step inside the last corridor, the throne room is up ahead. And we do have a save point. The throne entrance. But before we go to the throne entrance, there is an interesting room that I do want to look out for. If we go down here, however, there are caskets. Each of them have different colored souls. The nurse says you need to be a red one. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Scaven. That's me. But it's empty. It seems as it's meant, well, for me, actually. Hmm. So the king is prepared to take my soul, isn't he? Well, we'll see about that. I mean, hopefully we can somehow come with a compromise. Anyways, let's step into the throne room. And we see there's a bed full of flowers. And I'm assuming that must be King Aswar. <laughs> dum de dum Hello? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. There we are. Howdy, how can I... 
Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. Alright, I guess we'll come into the next room. It's a throne. And what is this? It's another throne covered by white sheet. We have a throne room. We step in here, ask where it's greets us. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Mmm, I don't know, that's not a really good comparison for me because I don't like the dentist. Alright, so we follow the Asgore. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess, in the next part, guys. Next time on Undertale, we'll see what, the, what Asgore's fate will be for the humans and monsters. Anyways, I'm gonna save here for the end. You don't get any message at all about determination or anything. So, I will see you guys then. So, this is Chibi Scavenge saying bye!